EVs, electric vehicles. Uh, you have the Bolt EV coming out sometime toward the end of this year. Um, who is the target audience? Who are you really directing that car for? Well, I think with a 200 mile range, you really um, have addressed range anxiety for most people. And so when you look at the fact that we're putting a, a vehicle out that is going to get more than 200 miles range um, at an affordable price of $30,000 after incentives, I think it opens up for a lot of people who can look at their use case and say, not only is this a car that I can drive you know, to and from work, but for my, my use case, my lifestyle, this is a vehicle that's going to meet my needs and be my only vehicle. And we're really excited about that and we're excited to be first in to the marketplace with an affordable EV with 200 mile range. Well, first in the marketplace, there are other vehicles out there that at least think that they'll be competing with the Bolt. They may be wrong, but they think. Uh, and we can name them, you know, things like Nissan Leaf and Prius and things like that. Is your car really unique? Is there a moat around this car in that sense? Well, I, I think when you're looking at um, hybrids, I mean, we have the Volt that has done well and we're, you know, seeing great reception to the second generation of the Volt where we've learned a lot and listened to the Volt customers to make the next generation even better. But what makes the Bolt EV stand aside is it's all electric and 200 miles range and that and, and it's affordable and that's what distinguishes it. And, and, and yes, we are unique in the marketplace and offering that to the customer. Uh, th there's another company out there that starts with a T <laughs> that, that is, uh, says it's coming out with an all electric vehicle in a year's time, they say more or less. Uh, Tesla, with the, the Series 3. Uh, to look at it, now I drove a Bolt. Your, your people were nice enough to let me drive a Bolt and it is a very exciting car. I mean, amazing torque, very practical, very interesting car. It's a wonderful car in my experience just driving it. But when you look at it, it's a very different car from a Series 3. They don't look the same at all. Um, why did you target the Bolt EV the way you did, which seemed to be more utilitarian, more for family, five seat seating capacity? Why did you pick that market to go for? Well, I think when you look at um, how you generate in the and provide an electric vehicle for for everyone, which we're doing with the Chevrolet Bolt EV, uh, you, they need the utility uh, the, the utility of you know being able to comfortably seat uh, five people and have a you know a spacious uh, rear. I mean, when you look at the vehicle, I hope one of the things you noticed is inside it's like a it's a big car, and it so is. we've been able to package and create in really as a B car segment a C car interior that provides the, the space and room that people need as part of their everyday lives. And so that's why we went and said, let's make this more SUV-like because we think that's gonna provide the most value for a person, again, that it might be their only vehicle. Why do the investors, at least, like Tesla so much? Well, I think um, and it's one of the reasons we're really uh, working to lead and autonomous and, and make sure people understand connectivity and, and products like the Bolt EV because it's about the future and it's where are you going and how are you going to create value. And you know, we are working hard to make sure we are going to create um, uh, substantial shareholder value. Uh, you asked earlier about how we make capital decisions. We, I spent an incredible amount of time on how we deploy capital, making sure we're doing that in the best interest of our investors. But, and, and we have a core business that allows, that allows us to fund that. And as people see, yes, General Motors is um, a tech company that is leading with uh, a, a multitude of technologies, I think the story will change. So I, I look at it as what we need to do to prove um, our, the value that we're creating, and that's where I stay focused. Is it realistic for General Motors to trade, if not at the multiple of Tesla, no one does hardly, but to really increase your multiple as people become used to the idea that you are a tech company, as you say, with autonomous driving and EVs? I, I absolutely think it. We think, our, our share, we're, we think we're undervalued right now, and we're going to continue to work to keep making sure people understand exactly the mission of General Motors and what we're working toward, how we're investing, and, and the, the capabilities and the strengths we have. And again, I, I believe, I come to work every day, that as we continue to do that, uh, that's something that will, uh, will take care of itself.